Recently, Yellowstone National Park has been very active. New data has shown us that not only is the swarm of earthquakes not slowing down, but that their magnitude is also increasing. The University of Utah's live tracking of earthquakes shows us that one of the most recent ones to hit Yellowstone came in at 3.1 in magnitude. This happened today, although the actual magnitude of this quake is currently being debated, with others saying that other earthquake pages recorded it as 3.4. This was detected in the Caldera system. The worry here is that although Yellowstone does get hit by many earthquakes, there are specific regions in Yellowstone that are more fragile than others, which means there's the potential that if an earthquake hits one of these regions that are brittle, it could do a lot of damage. Some of the most recent earthquakes that have hit Yellowstone within the last few hours are a 1.4, a 1.5, a 2.2, a 0.3, a 1.1, a 1.4 and a 2.2. All relatively small earthquakes that don't present a threat. However, it's the increased magnitude quakes that are creating conversations. Mr. Heffler, who used to work at the United States Geological Survey, conducted many tests around Yellowstone, and one of the things he noted was that although earthquakes around the park were common, when they started to measure in at two or greater in magnitude, they would become concerned. This is the recorded graph that shows the 3.2 earthquake when it entered Yellowstone. One thing to remember is that going back several years ago, it was rare to see a magnitude 2 earthquake around Yellowstone, which is why previous employees have said that if they were detected around the park they would become concerned. Recent data though has shown us that magnitude 3 and higher have started to hit the park, and this happened within the last year, meaning that when compared to previous data, there's been quite a large increase in magnitude. Some of these earthquakes are hitting the region known as West Thumb. As mentioned by the United States Geological Survey on their website, West Thumb is the largest geyser basin on the shores of Yellowstone Lake. The heat source of this hydrothermal feature in this location is thought to be relatively close to the surface, only 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters down. The West Thumb of Yellowstone Lake was formed by a large volcanic explosion that occurred approximately 150,000 years ago. The resulting collapsed volcano later filled with water, forming an extension of Yellowstone Lake. It's for this reason that some have expressed their concerns about the increased earthquake activity around this area. After all, it was only in the 1990s that researchers discovered hydrothermal features under the surface of the lake. Still one of the most interesting things that has people talking is the comparisons of Old Faithful. Photos were taken from a few months back, and they've been compared to recent ones, and it's obvious that there's a huge uplift. I added in some red lines and it's obvious that something's going on here. The red lines show the uplift underneath Old Faithful, and it's not like this is even subtle. There's an obvious uplifting that's going on beneath this area. But as online users have pointed out, there's been no comments from the United States Geological Survey. This isn't a recent thing either. These images were compared over the last few months, and you can definitely see that it's increased in size. Some have said that even if you're not worried about the swarm of earthquakes hitting Yellowstone, there's no denying that there's an obvious uplift going on beneath Old Faithful saying that several people can clearly see that the ground has risen by several metres. Although the United States Geological Survey has said that these small tremors are common across Yellowstone National Park, others are more interested in the larger magnitude earthquakes that are being detected around the area, asking why these haven't been covered by park officials and news outlets. Grouse of Yellowstone, though, have shown us that after being hit by these earthquakes, it showed us that it did have some effect on the park, as magma was seen moving. One of the reasons why this is happening could be the injection of magma underneath fresh geyser basins, which can be found throughout Yellowstone, with officials saying that a few years back these uplifts would add height to their land masses. In fact, back in 2020, officials revealed that the region around Norris Geyser Basin is over 5 inches higher 
and this is due to the magma underneath it. Although the United States Geological Survey is being quiet on this matter, it's obvious to locals and those who are watching the data that Yellowstone's activity is definitely increasing. Some users have said that we should only be worried when the animals start leaving, but wildlife watchers have said this has already started to happen. In the last year, animals living in Yellowstone have started migrating away. They've noticed that thousands of animals around Yellowstone have left for higher ground, with researchers saying that one of the reasons they might be doing this is because of environmental anomalies. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley said the following, These animals are migrating in the tens of thousands and are moving out of Yellowstone. We think this comes down to changes in the area. Those who are following the activity have said this is worrying and that this could mean that something is about to happen, as animals can detect things before humans. As of right now, scientists are not entirely sure how animals are able to sense things like earthquakes, but one idea is that they sense the ionization of the air, which is caused by large rock pressures in earthquakes. Scientists have said they've observed wild animals leaving areas before an earthquake occurs, and that even pets have this instinct, as they've been seen acting on edge whenever a natural disaster happens. Given the fact that there's no real way to prepare or prevent an event like this, it could very well be a countdown clock for the end of the human race, and life on Earth as we know it. Despite this, researchers are still working to devise ways of potentially releasing this trapped energy, to prevent such a large event from taking place but this would take funding and technology that's not available at the moment and will be a part of one of the largest construction and development projects of the 21st century. So what do you make of these recent large earthquakes that hit Yellowstone? And what do you make of the increased activity? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.